my darlings, and welcome to the spooky, spooky day that ends in Y. I've got this Joker creation for you for today's tutorial. So if you'd like to see how I created it, and, you know, learn about things and stuff and things, and celebrate the second day of the 13 days of Halloween with me, then stay tuned and let's do this. Okie dokie, naked potato face Wearing a bat onesie because I thought it was funny since I'm doing a joker look Yeah Anyway, first I'm doing my hair and I'm using this good dye young poser paste which I've never used before So first I'm putting on gloves and stirring it Praying to the hair gods And then applying this green paste to my hair It took a bit of a learning curve but I got it mostly done and I'm glad I put on gloves. Then I'm going to take a wet paper towel and kind of run along the edges of my hairline to clean everything up and block my eyebrow off using the Elmer's glue stick method and uh, powder that after it's copiously glued down. Then I'm going to take the NYX Wonder Pencil in light and trace out my mask shape. I'm using a reference face chart thing that I made that's done, I'm gonna go in and start creating this look. So first I'm gonna go in the naked eye and color in the brows with a KVD brow pomade thing in red using my finger first and then a brush and then a spoolie to make sure everything's nice and red and then clean up with a makeup q-tip wipe thing so that I get a nice crisp shape like this. And then I'm going to take the Skin Illustrator Glazing Gels in Red 3 and Bruise Blue and add a little bit of trauma detail to the eye. So I'm going to focus this color on the inner corner and accentuate the eye bags and then a little bit on the outer corner and make it kind of look like it's bruised and sunken in and I'm sleep deprived and uh, life's just not going great for, for this, this Joker. So I'm using a variegated tip brush. It's got kind of wispy ends and dense ends and it just, it, it varies. So it gives a nice kind of veiny structure. Then I'm going in with the Danessa Merrick's waterproof cream palette in the shade blue and making an elongated diamond over my eyelid and then bringing it up above my brow and a little bit lower down on the lower lash line. It helps if you look into a mirror to do this part. Then I'm going to take Velocity from Sugar Pill. I think it's a discontinued color, but any matte, vibrant blue will do. And I'm kind of adding it haphazardly within the diamond shape that we created. Then I'm going to be using this flesh tone color from the Lunatic Cosmetic Labs palette, a color from Makeup Geek in the shade Bedrock, and a pointed brush. And I'm going to trace the inside of the shape. Then where we've got those swoops and dips, I'm going to use the shade Castle on a Hill from Sugar Pill and deepen it before going in with the rest of the mask using this Makeup Forever cream pan stick in the shade White, it's M110. So when you're covering brows, you wanna do patting motions and not swiping motions, because if you do swiping motions, you'll accentuate the texture and we don't wanna do that. So I'm gonna fill in the rest of the face and the mask taking my time and then I'm gonna switch brushes and go with something a little bit more controllable so I can get all of the edges and not go outside the lines too far then I'm going to take the Mayron Paradise AQ palette uh, AQ makeup in the shade white and a stippling brush and kind of stipple around the white area I want to give kind of a porcelain texture to the mask it's optional, but I like it. Then I'm going to take the Danessa Merrick's palette again and use the gray shade and start tracing out my wrinkles and mask lines. So I'm going to furrow the brows, accentuate forehead wrinkles, nose flare wrinkles, laugh lines, the sculpt of the cheekbones, temple, etc. And then I'm going to take the black from the same palette and start to darken those lines. This, the, the line shading took the longest out of everything, so take your time. And uh, you do you, boo. But basically, I'm repeating the steps with the black and a very fine detail brush and going right in the middle of those gray shaded areas 
to create the deepest point of the creases that we've got going on. So once you look like a mummy, you're then going to take the black again and a C-shaped petal brush and you're going to fill in your eye socket and the deeper, larger creases. So the cheekbones, the nose, under the chin, the temples, that sort of thing. It's a lot of shading. Yeah. So next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the colorless powder from Mayron and set all of those cream products. You want to be very gen generous with this powder, and if you make it look like it's snowing, you're doing a good job. So don't wear any clothing that might get uh, dusty. Yeah. Then I'm going to get a nice refreshing burst of... Uh, hair dryer before going in with Sugar Pill's Bulletproof Matte Black Eyeshadow and a C-shaped paddle brush and I'm going to start intensifying those creases once again since the colorless powder kind of diffused them a little bit. I want to make them very contrasty and very poppy. So I'm just shading. This look is a whole bunch of shading. I'm not gonna lie. It was a lot of shading. Then I'm going to take a angled eyeliner brush and continue to shade on the smaller creases. And then I'm going to take the shade Taco, which is a matte white, also from Sugar Pill. And I'm going to use my finger to highlight the bigger highlighted areas, just to bring them forward, to give the illusion of it's 3D. Yay! Stretch! Next, I am going to... Clean up the edges with a Q-tip and some micellar water because I was a little bit messy and colored outside the lines. You know. Yeah. Ugh. So here's a pro tip. If you're doing a long makeup, eat something in between. Take breaks. Get up. Stretch. It's good for your brain. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take those shades that I used to kind of contour the open area on the eye and I'm going to do it to the perimeter of the face. So we're going to mimic wrinkles and folds of the skin by using those colors and I'm also going to bring the look down onto my neck by creating some more masculine shading. So I'm giving myself an Adam's apple and working on the tendons and shading them in a little bit to bring them out and the collarbone, and also the chest, although you can't really see the chest. I'm making my ribs more pronounced. And the chin. You want the chin to be angular. You can even give yourself a little butt chin. Then I'm going to go back in with Castle on a Hill and darken the deepest folds and the Adam's apple. And the chin. Basically, you want to start with your mid-tones before going into your deepest shade, like deepest shadow shades. Uh, it makes life a lot easier. After that, I'm going to take the Black Paradise AQ Water Activated Makeup and create these little um, brackets or clamps where the mask is kind of gripping onto the skin. So I'm making little C-shaped, slightly curved uh, clamp shapes with that. And then I'm going in with the white Paradise AQ paint and outlining the entire perimeter of the mask to really bring it forward. And I'm using a very, very, very tiny artist brush. I highly recommend picking up these little tiny brushes when you go to the art store next time. I'm also working on some of the highlights on my face and the more pronounced creases to bring them out further. Then I'm taking the Mayron Metallic Powder in Silver and some Inglot Duraline and I am highlighting the highest point of those bracket thingies to bring them forward, to catch the light, to make it look like it's a little bit more 3D than it is. And uh, yeah, this look kind of ended up a little more handsome Jack than I intended, but oh well. After that, I'm taking the Suva Beauty uh, Hydra color in the neon green shade and a stippling sponge and just stippling that to the center of the blackened eye socket for going in with a pressed glitter from Espionage Cosmetics just to add a little bit of sparkle because you know sparkle is important then I'm filling in my lips with the 
brow shade that I used. I am also going to extend the lip shape on one side and kind of distress it, you know, Heath Ledger, Joker vibes, before going in with the Melt Cosmetics eyeshadow in Lovesick to darken the perimeter and make it look like my pout is poutier than it usually is. I'm also adding a little bit of bulletproof to further accentuate the lips. Then I'm popping on a cloudy white lens. This one was from Pinky Paradise, I think, before doing the final touches with the teeth and I'm using the Necessary Evil tooth color in the shade uh, Rust Orange, pulling down my hair, which was a mess. And then last but not least, I am lining my tight line and waterline with a House Labs black eyeliner pencil. And then changing my wardrobe. <laughs> yeah. So if you'd like to see how I distressed the vest and shirt, that is a Patreon exclusive. Come join us on the Patreon uh, community. It helps me out, helps you out. And yeah, this is the finished look for my kind of quasi mashed up Joker look. I really like how it came out, even though it took forever. I'll have all the details listed in the description box below and over on my blog as usual. You should check it out because I'll have more pictures and anecdotes and tips and all that fun stuff. And yeah. Oh, by the way, it's it's the 13 days of Halloween. So we've got the giveaway going on. And if you haven't already entered, go enter on my blog. It's exciting. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not already, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I put out new videos sometimes, especially around Halloween. And uh, yeah, know that I think you are awesome. And I love you guys so, 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 so much. <laughs> Don't forget to stay positive and be awesome. Because you, you're really freaking awesome. And I mean it. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, ah! bye. Ah! Hey, if you want to see more for the 13 Days of Halloween looks, click that playlist right in the middle. Or if you want to come join us on Patreon, you can click our little Patreon little pumpkin right there too. Anyway. I'll see you later. See you tomorrow. Okay, love you. Bye-bye.